My name is Lana and I would like to share my testimony with you. I grew up in a Christian home in Russia. My parents, they were pastors. And growing up in a Soviet Union uh, society it was not easy being a Christian uh, because you either look down upon or people mock you, ridicule you. And, and so even in schools, I've been um, mocked. I was uh, thrown stuff at, and it was just not easy. Um, when I uh, was 16 years old, this is when everything went down the hill for me. I, was, I wanted to have friends, and I couldn't because I never felt connected. Even though I didn't know God, but I was a child of Christian parents, it was hard for me. And so my life went down the drain. I started to hang out with bad crowds, uh, bad friends. Some of the drugs got involved, parties and things like that. And I never felt uh, accepted. I never felt, I always felt this darkness and deep hole in my life that something was always missing. And I didn't know what it was, so I was looking in the wrong places. And when I was already about to turn 18, I, was, I remember myself laying in a couch and feeling such a darkness inside of me that I just, I just didn't want to live anymore. I just wanted to disappear. Before we moved to the United States with my parents, I remember myself being at the last service at our church where my parents were. And I was uh, looking at the people who were singing and they were praying. And I was talking to God in my mind and I was asking God, why are they singing? Why are they praying? Are you even real? And at the split second, I remember the presence of God fell upon me so strongly. I physically felt it, and it felt like I went underwater. And this voice came to me saying, Lana, I am real. And at that moment, for the first time, I experienced the reality of God personally. And week after we moved to the United States and uh, we find this church, which was Church of Truth in Vancouver, Washington. And we come there and at that moment I have not surrendered my life to Jesus yet, but I already experienced the reality of God. And so I come to church and Pastor Slavik was preaching and the conviction of the Holy Spirit fell so strongly on me, I could not even stand on my feet. I fell to the ground, I was weeping and crying, and at that moment, God asked, Lana, can you surrender your life to me? And this is when I made a decision. I'm giving my life to Jesus, and I'm never turning back. And He took away all the emptiness inside of me that I felt, and I became a follower of Jesus Christ and never looked back. Now, fast forward five years down the road, I got married, I moved to Tri-Cities, and I started to experience something that I could not explain. Um, it was a new city, um, new church. I did not have my friends, I did not have my family, so it was very difficult. And that triggered something inside of me. I started to experience depression and I started to allow bad thoughts in uh, my mind and feelings of hatred, feelings of jealousy and all of that stuff. I didn't know about um, demons or curses or spiritual reality at that, at that point of my life. And so it was a very dark time for me. I would experience nightmares almost on a daily basis, a sleep paralysis, demonic presence, and a lot of stuff that I didn't understand what it was. There was a point in my life that I was so fed up and tired that I didn't know what to do anymore. I just wanted to leave home. I just wanted to go home, back to Vancouver. But um, luckily, we discovered the ministry um, of Prophet T.B. Joshua, and we started to dive deep and kind of like discover the spiritual world on that level. Uh, we went to the church of T.B. Joshua, and he prophesied to me that there is a generational curse that's upon my life uh, that's following me. I started to see that it's true 
There was some repeated things in my family, in my bloodline that I noticed. And what happened after that prophecy was my hands were untied to fight for myself after he prayed for me. I believe that curse was broken over, my, over me and I started to have strength to fight for myself, fighting against those curses and those things that I was battling with. And I would listen uh, to the sermons about the Holy Spirit and I would experience the presence of the Holy Spirit so strongly on me. And I felt like He was working with me and peeling off layers of lies, peeling off layers of things that were false, the false beliefs in my mind. And I remember one day I wake up and I felt like I was a free person. And the Holy Spirit told me that now you are free. And since that day, after I received my deliverance, I feel like a brand new person. I feel like I can walk with the Lord Jesus. I can uh, live freely without nightmares, without torment, without darkness following me around. And I no longer experience those things. I can serve God. I'm in a ministry. I love serving God. I feel like it's a privilege to serve God without any hindrances and God is using me now, and I believe that He can do exactly the same for you. You have to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. If you are not saved, uh, the Bible says that uh, the bread belongs to children of God, and the bread, deliverance is the bread. And if you need deliverance, and you have not given your life to Jesus yet, this is your first step, and then, you will be able to experience deliverance.